determined to present a strong position which will benefit the country at the forthcoming COP28 climate change conference in the United Arab Emirates. The federal government has constituted an ad hoc committee to harmonize Nigeria's agenda at the event. State House correspondent Abdurrahman Jibrela reports that the Vice President Kashim Shatima has tasked the committee to come up with a roadmap which will enable Nigeria fully benefit from its participation at the conference. Good President. news Nigerians are expected to hear from the forthcoming COP28 is designing onto the battery energy storage system and the event which the Vice President said the proposal was a commendable initiative as it offers greenfield opportunity for the energy sector to adopt green, affordable and accessible energy for Nigerians. The signing onto the Battery Energy Storage System Consortium, Vice President Kashim Shatima said is part of strategies to get the technical assistance and funding opportunities. The main target is that we are trying to now have an energy, uh, put an energy in the grid that will now help uh, light Almost rather, we are now going to now see power failure as at another past. So what we are going to do is going to be like an, uh, what we call, what we call UPS. When, when they, whenever there is so-called power failure, then something just takes off. So in, in, in essence, there will not be any power failure again once this is, 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 is done. The Global Energy Alliance Partnership led by Mohamed Wakil was in the country to support government in the energy sector as the Battery Energy Storage System Consortium will provide a technology that will enhance the quality and quantum of power available in the country. And with the signing of the MOU with the consortium, Nigeria will be able to collaborate with other institutions such as the Africa Development Bank and other stakeholders to transform the country's energy sector. From the State House, Abraham Jibrila,